welcome back so the next topic we are going to learn in the adverb form is how to print the address of a customer in the pdf form so if you are working with the sales order scenario so sales order detail we can get the header detail from the vba k table in the vba k from the field corner we will get the customer id and by this using the customer id you have to pass that customer id to the kna1 table to get the address number that is the field number adr nr so address number address we can print in two way in smart form as well as in the adverb form option 1 is for first find out the address number of the customer from the kna1 table and then we can pass this address number to the adrc table in kna1 it is adr nr field and in adrc it is addr number here we have to pass that number and we can see all the details like name one city postal code postal code country like street house number etc okay so we have first option is either we can print the individual field as a variable on the form or second by using the address node where we have to pass only this address number so two options are there we'll use the both the option and we'll print the address on the adverb form so as we already have one interface so what i will do i will add the code here to get the adrc data and kn1 data go to change one change mode as of now in global data we have kn1 but this is like with type structure so i am not doing any changes here in the global data i am simply adding two structure let's say js underscore cust type kn1 okay and second js underscore adrc of type adrc okay now i will go to code initialization and here i will add two new record one is js underscore cust and second js underscore adrc fine and from the vba k table we required a kunnar that i will get from here in the js header okay so what i will do here okay initially this was wrong in the last here i have to pass a customer id so i will replace this js underscore header kunnar this is correction in the old code also fine let me go back now here what i have to do first i will select the data from kn1 same record i will select all the record this time first i am selecting all data from kn1 table select single all record from kn1 into js underscore cust where kunnar equal to this js header kunnar okay because here in this kunnar field i am getting the customer id now here if size of rc equal to 0 size of rc equals to 0 if record found then i will select the address data select all from adrc select single all from adrc into js underscore adrc where addr number okay this is the address number equals to js underscore cus adr nr see in kna1 the address field is adr nr and in adrc it is addr number save check activate 
no error as of now. Fine. So, this is done. This is done. Now, we have to go to form. I will create a new form by using the same interface number. I will copy this and here I am going to create one one new form like Z ADF 02 and I will give name here underscore address. So here we are learning the address. Create print address in ADF and the same interface I am giving here. I am using here the local object. And let me drag and drop the required field BLN. Then I required required cost, and here I required the ADRC. Okay, so after adding the interface, the required logic in the ADF form. I have added the required data from interface to context. Save, check. Okay, so first we have to create a layout. So before using the address node, see we have to create one address node like this. Copy, create an address node. Okay, let's first create address node. So here I create an address node first. Okay, and here, okay, let's keep as it is address. So what detail we have to pass here, two important field here we have to pass. One is the address number and second is the country. See here is the address number. So we have to pass the address number from the ADRC. Fine. So we will write here GS underscore ADRC and the field is address number. Okay. So I will drag and drop here. JS underscore ADRC underscore address number. And second important thing here we have to pass is the country, in sending country. JS underscore ADRC. And second important field here is country. That also I will pass from the same JS underscore ADRC field. Here country field is there. Yeah. This country field I will use. So we have to if you are using the address node, you have to pass the address number and the sending country. Again, save. Check will give us error. Okay. Now go to layout. Now first what I will do, I will show the normal way with the variable painting. So here go to palette data view and first I will take one text field normal text field I will select here okay and here I will rename as address increase the font 20 <coughs> okay now how to print the address, see this is just, okay, go to ADRC, so what I can do, here like name one, I will drag and drop here, okay, then after that I want let's say city, or house number we can take, yeah this is the house number, if I double click here, that will appear here, house number, like this we can print. Okay, then after that, I want a street, just drag and drop, a street, and then say, next is country, country, I will search here the country field, yeah, country, okay, this is the one way, fine, so I will just save this. save and close this layout. First we will check the output using this node. Ok, so I am closing this editor layout. 
check no error only warnings are there activate this is a normal way printing the address through variable okay now if i execute this form pass the order number as 1 see the output so based on the field which which will add from that address table in the field we can see that address based on our requirement we can add any n number of fields okay and now what is the other method so let's see the other method so we created this address node now we'll print using this go to layout this is very simple method just pass the address number and the country which i explained that we have to pass here in the address node and now in this editor data view see here we have the address node just drag and drop on the screen where we required that okay and increase the length height and length of this this is very simple but we should not both the method we should know both the method some case if the standard address layout is not suitable we have to give it variable printing fine so i will save this close this check and activate execute pass the order number as input effect see the output so this is the advantage okay so we have to just pass we need to just pass the address number we need to just pass the address number and the detail and that address node we can print here fine but in case if this is not required and we want as per our own requirement different fields and all here you can see the customer name <coughs> this is a name which is matching as per this name this is the like title mr mrs company etc p box number x uh, city etc here there is no country so in case if you are okay with this standard format of the sap we can go ahead with this and if not we can create our own address field and in first lesson i also explain how we can remove those remove these captions and we can keep only the data we can also remove all these boxes so it will look, uh, look exactly like this fine so in this way we have learned two options to print the address one using the variables and second using the address as a node in the context so in this way we done with this session thank you